Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Weller and today I have a guest with me, John Shackle. Hi. And today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons 5e and in particular we're going to talk about Xanathar's Guide to Everything. I'm going to cover the Storm Sorcerer. This is a lightning and thunder themed sorcerer and oh we've never seen this before. No we have, it was in Sword Coast Adventures Guide. Oh that's right, so it's, it's not new content but we're going to talk about it anyway. So if you have a look at page 51 in Xanathar's Guide to Everything it will give you details on the Storm Sorcerer and at first level we get Wind Speaker so we can now speak, read and write Primordial. Yay. Yay, so one extra language. Uh, provided you don't already have that in your repertoire. And then at uh, first level we also get Temptuous Magic, which means as a bonus action you can fly 10 feet, provided you cast a spell that's at least first level or higher, and uh, when you are flying you do not provoke attacks of opportunity. Okay. I actually see this as being quite useful because now you can get yourself out of trouble you can go over the top of something, you can fly out of out of the way, so you don't have to worry about using your action to disengage, you can use this particular feature. So actually pretty useful I thought. Yeah. Next is Heart of the Storm at level 6, so you get lightning and thunder resistance. Woohoo! Nice! And then if you cast a spell doing thunder or lightning damage, you're going to, it has to be within 10 feet, that's the area, so whatever is attacking you has to be within 10 feet. You're going to do bonus damage, and that's half your sorcerer level. Yep. Makes Not sense. Bad. Yep. Next, I don't like this one. I think this is absolutely ridiculous, and that is Storm Guide. At level 6, you can use an action to stop the rain around you in a 20 foot radius. Well, remember, it, when it says rain, it doesn't necessarily mean water. <sighs> says rain and yeah okay I mean obviously now you have your own personal umbrella umbrella uh, okay weird as a bonus action you can turn off your personal umbrella and then get rained on or wet now you can stop yourself getting wet in the middle of your adventure makes perfect sense this is exactly what we want as a bonus action you can also change the wind direction up to a hundred feet Yay. Now that could be useful if you have a cloud of something that's affecting your party and you want to push it 20 feet away from you. But it has to be windy though, that's, that's the condition. It, yeah, you, you can't create wind unless of course you think um, eating beans is going to create the kind of wind you require. Yeah, it seems dumb, it seems situational, I don't like it. Yeah, I agree with you. And then at level 14 you get Storm's Fury. So if you are hit by a melee attack as a reaction you can do lightning damage. So this is basically your sorcerer level worth of damage which is great. They have to make a strength saving throw to be pushed 20 feet away from you. Nice. Not bad. It's alright, I like it. Yeah. It's the damage output that really um, yeah. turns me on. Okay then we wow, get... it's pretty electrifying Fred. It is electrifying, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. And the last feature is Wind Soul. So at 18th level you are immune to lightning and thunder damage. Now that's Weird. great. This is the one that really sells it for me though. You have a fly speed of 60 feet. Yes. Wow. And if you decide to only fly 30 feet you can give fly to other creatures which is 3 plus your charisma modifier. Which is a lot. And this thing, they can now fly 30 feet as well. You can fly 30 feet they can fly 30 feet and only for an hour an hour is more than enough oh yeah an hour is more than enough this is pretty awesome ability i like this a lot so what do you think of the um the storm sorcerer um for a repeat uh, character class um i still think it has its uh, ups and downs um storm guide is completely useless in my opinion uh but um i do like some of the earlier ones and definitely like uh, wind soul um, but I don't think I'll play a uh, Storm Sorcerer. Um, to me, Dragon Sorcerer and the other two in Xanathars are a lot. I better pick them. I think. Yeah, I, I personally think it's it's not as great. I mean, Wind Soul is really awesome, and there's nothing wrong with uh, Storm's Fury. That's all fine as well. The rest of it is uh, I could I, I could leave it. It's it's not really going to sell me in terms of a class. So look, if you found this video helpful or informative, please share and like the video. 
If you're not already subscribed, then hit that subscribe button if you like this sort of content and you want to see more of it. If you press the bell button beside the subscribe button on my channel or under the video, it'll let you know that I am doing a live stream or that I have published a new video and I do pretty much one every single day and there's like 400 of them so you can watch lots of my stuff. And that's another thing. If you want to support my channel, watch more of my videos. And I don't do Patreon, but down in the description you'll find an affiliate link where you can buy stuff online. I get a small commission and you pay exactly the same price. And John, thank you for doing this. My pleasure. And hey, till next time. Keep rolling those 20s. See you later.